Hello, I'm Mara Cope. I'm a clinical practice pharmacist and I'm also an independent prescriber. We are all aware the antimicrobial resistance in, in worldwide is becoming an increasing problems. Um, what we really need to think about is what we need to treat and which patient we're going to treat. Some patients, in fact the majority of patients that you will see in primary care, will come in, will present with conditions, typically respiratory tract infections, most of which are um, self-limiting. Now, it's difficult then to decide which patients then to treat and which actually, um, they actually they will need an antibiotic prescription uh, and which ones actually are low risk and for which an antibiotic prescription um, is actually is not appropriate. I think then to recognise um, the patients uh, for whom an antibiotic prescription is, is actually necessary we need to think about which ones are our at risk uh, or high risk patients. So of course the patients who are immunocompromised, who are elderly and frail, um, they've got comorbidities, you know, so these are the ones for which we don't really want to delay um, an antibiotic because we know that the consequences of developing serious um, infections is much, much higher. However, there is a big group of patients um, for which um, actually, you know, they are low risk and, you know, they, they are young and healthy um, and actually an antibiotic prescription is not recommended and is not advisable. And I think obviously in between those there will be a fairly, you know, large group of patients for which actually we, we're not quite sure and, and, and different strategies, you know, will be adopted so you may have an immediate antibiotic uh, prescribing strategy or in case, some cases actually you would like to delay that prescription and explain to the patient what is the likelihood of the expected um, recovery time for that infection.